Hey guys, Caleb here from the Pieces Engineering team, and today I'm here to show you case a very exciting new development that we have created over at Pieces called the Workstream Pattern Engine. Now, what the Workstream Pattern Engine does is it's able to essentially shadow your workflow and then basically ingest a whole bunch of information about what you're working on, and then it's able to resurface it in very nice uh, user-friendly experiences such as utilizing live context in the Copilot chat. Now, basically what live context is in the Copilot chat is you could hypothetically have a file open in your IDE, maybe you're modifying a specific function in your code, and you could have also maybe in a different application, let's say uh, Google Docs, you could have maybe been writing notes about uh, what kind of adjustments you might want to be making to this specific function in your code. Now, one thing that live context would be able to do for that scenario is you could ask it, hey, according to my notes that I've written down inside of Google Docs uh, that is relevant to this piece of code that I'm currently working on, how can I adjust uh, this function or this piece of code to then more accurately represent uh, the notes that I was just writing about the modifications that I would like to make to it? And basically what Live Context is going to be able to do from there is it'll be able to pull the notes that you've written, it'll be able to pull the function that you're working on, and then basically send that over as context to a LLM, be it a cloud LLM like GPT-4 or even a local LLM such as Mistral. And then it'll be able to take in all that context uh, from your workflow and then basically easily, you know, just right away, it's going to be able to modify that function for you just as you asked. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really interesting uh, piece of technology and there's a lot of different opportunities, a lot of different use cases for it. Um, and yeah, that's why I'm here to show you guys uh, what the Workstream Pattern Engine is going to look like and what Live Context is going to look like from the plugins. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So in order to enable the Workstream Pattern Engine, what you'll first have to do is you're going to have to open this WPE dialog right here in the Copilot chat window. And now what WPE means is it basically just stands for Workstream Pattern Engine. And First and foremost, you're going to see that you're going to need to enable some permissions. Uh, this is specific for Mac OS. You're going to have to enable some permissions. Um, and it might be a little bit alarming at first, but I'll, I will kind of get into explaining um, basically the safety mechanisms that we have in place to kind of ensure a secure uh, environment while you're using something, a tool like this. And you'll see, you know, foreground application detection. Uh, basically, what this is doing is it's basically able to discern, okay, what application do you have open and uh, and when, basically. And, you know, that, that can be used for a whole host of things within the Workstream Pattern Engine. And another one is periodic foreground application screenshots. Um, and that's another one that might be a little bit alarming to you guys. Um, but I, what I'm here to do is I'm here to explain a little bit about our approach at Pieces and how we're trying to basically ensure that it is a... Uh, privacy focused and secure environment while you're interacting with something like this. So kind of getting into that, um, basically all of the information that the Workstream Pattern Engine ingests all stays 100% uh, local on your own device. So all of, the, all of the context ingestion, all of that stuff all happens on your own device. Um, so there's no there's no real worry about, you know, losing, leaking out information into uh, some sort of cloud service or, or that sort of thing. And another key part about this is you might say, hey, like, what if I'm typing in a password into my bank account? Or what if I open up a file that has, like, let's say an SSH secret uh, stored within it? At Pieces, we actually, a part of this Workstream Pattern Engine is we actually developed a really great secrets detection model. And it's able to very, very accurately uh, detect like which parts of your context are actually uh, secrets or keys. And then using that information, it's able to basically get rid of it. So we do have a very good system in place for uh, making sure that your passwords or your private information or your keys don't get leaked out into some sort of cloud LLM. And yeah, that kind of leads me into my next point is the only, the only pieces of information that will end up leaving your machine from the Workstream Pattern Engine is actually if you were going to go ahead and you're going to use a cloud LLM uh, with live context in your Copilot chat. So basically, if you ask your Copilot chat and you have live context enabled, 
about some some of your workflow context. Uh, basically, what it'll do is it'll it'll gather that context, of course, and then only that context is going to get sent over to the cloud LLM that you have selected. Now, another thing with this is you can even select a local LLM. So you could, let's say, use Mistral. And if you're using Mistral, then all of the information that the Workstream Pattern Engine ingests will actually 100% stay on device at all times. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice privacy-focused, uh, secure environment in order to use you know this level of access on your machine. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show the um, permissions enabling flow. And first you'll just have to click on this button and open system settings and it'll open it up and you'll just have to click on this slider here and you'll have to enter some credentials. And I'll go ahead and go back here and you can see it was detected that it was enabled. And I'll go ahead and I'll click on this and I'll enable the vision processing and I'll click here. And then once you've enabled the vision and audio processing, you'll have to quit Pieces OS and reopen it in order for it to apply itself. You can see the Copilot has picked up on this and said, okay, it's restarting to apply permissions. Go ahead and minimize that. And yeah, so you can see uh, the necessary permissions have been enabled and I'm ready to start working on uh, live context in the Copilot chat. So. One thing, as I mentioned, what I can do is I could just say, hey, what am I currently working on? And yeah, it's able to it's able to see like this is what I this is a file that I had opened earlier. Um, and if I go ahead and I go, let's uh, let's open uh, documentation, we'll open the documentation repo. And this is one of our open source repos that you can actually utilize. And it looks like I don't have syntax highlighting, but that's okay. Um, and so yeah, this is a great example. So in this in this feature section, so this is like a feature section kind of explaining uh, what features are available in the plugin copilot. All right, now that we have uh, the Workstream Pattern Engine enabled, I went ahead and I selected uh, GPT-4.0, the latest and greatest model from OpenAI. And I'm just going to ask it, uh, please add a feature to the, please add a section about live context and uh, about live context and the workstream pattern engine to the features list I have opened right now. And so what that'll do is it'll go ahead and it'll understand that, hey, uh, this is what I have open right now. This is basically just a list of features that's present in the in the plugin copilot. And it's able to say, hey, you can just go ahead and you can add it. You can go ahead and you can just add this right into the features list. So, yeah, this is a, that's a, that's one example of how you can utilize live context and the workstream pattern engine. Uh, within your workflow, within the Pieces Copilot chats. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, there's going to be resources linked in the description uh, that link to more information about Live Context and about the Workstream Pattern Engine. Um, it's definitely a very, very exciting new thing that we have here at Pieces. Thanks guys for watching and uh, happy coding.